What's up, guys? Justin here with the RealTimeEssentials.com. So, a uh, big news came out yesterday. Unity has acquired Ziva Dynamics. So, Ziva Dynamics is a company specifically designed and working towards creating realistic characters, as well as simulating like VFX and other things having to do with like facial animation and character animation, as well as like muscle movement and other things like that. So, let's go ahead and dive into this. All right, so first off, you can see on Unity's YouTube channel, they released a video specifically created by Ziva Dynamics Tools um, of this uh, of this animated character that shows kind of what their tools can do. And basically the character is talking through kind of what the plans are for um, Unity and Ziva working together, other things like that, but it really gives you an idea of kind of what the tools are. The closest thing I can think of is, is probably a lot like MetaHumans for Unreal, so it does make a lot of sense that Unity would also acquire a company company, um, or at least start developing tools, but in this case, acquire a company to create more realistic characters. So I will say that at the moment, they haven't been super in depth about this. This is a very new development. So um, let's go ahead and talk about what we know. So first off, if we go to Ziva Dynamics webpage, you can see a little bit more about what they're about. So if you scroll down on their homepage, for example, you can see that their tools have been used for um, not only some AAA games and other things like that. It's kind of interesting. They actually have an Epic Games quote on their front page here. Um, talking about uh, how they're moving technology forward with characters. But then if we scroll down, you can see that they've also been used in some of the biggest films um, out there. So everything from Game of Thrones to John Wick to there, there's just a lot of big name productions in here. So you can tell that they've definitely been used for some of that kind of like higher end, like um, I don't know if AAA is right for the film industry, but some of that higher end character creation stuff. So um, you can see if you scroll through the top, right, you can get a little bit more information about the different tools that they have available. So one of the cool things that they have is they have this face trainer. And basically what the face trainer does is it uses machine learning and artificial intelligence um, in order to learn how um, faces move. So you can see how um, with this 3D character right here, this is like ridiculously realistic. Um, and if you really pay attention to like the muscle movement and kind of the way the muscles move under the skin, other things like that, you can see how they've done a lot of work um, really creating something that can generate those uh, realistic characters. But if you scroll down, there's some other th there's some other things that kind of show you the way that this works. So they've got some example videos right here. So um, if we were to make this a little bit bigger, you can see how this just kind of demonstrates the way that their technology can um, duplicate different facial movements. So very detailed tool for doing that. Um, as well as if we scroll over to the right, they also have kind of like a VFX studio, which again is designed for that more like character type animation. Note that they don't just do character animation of faces, but they also do like animals and other things like that too. So um, you can see a little bit about their pricing structure here. They have an indie $50 a month version right here. They've also got a studio version. So um, that's kind of what their pricing is right now. I would expect um, something to change at least um, with the Unity acquisition, but we don't quite know what that's going to be yet. They've also got some uh, higher quality character assets um, that they have on their page. So if you go to products and let's see, I think it's under... Ziva VFX, and you can go to Ziva Characters, or you can go to Free Assets, um, and you can get kind of an idea. Um, so they've got like a $10,000 rigged horse um, animation. So if you look at this, it's just like a very detailed rigged horse. I'm sure that they're using this in like big budget movies, which explains the cost. Again, I wouldn't get too hung up on the costs of it right now, um, because I'm sure all of that will change or adjust as this kind of fits into Unity's ecosystem. So they've also got a lion model in here. And again, notice how they're really simulating the muscles um, that go on under the skin, as well as the lion itself, as well as a couple character models down below. So just to give you kind of an idea of what's uh, what they do. But then there's also a blog post on Unity's website. It talks a little bit more about um, kind of the game plan for this. We don't know exactly. It seems to me like it would make sense for this to be something that competes with metahumans. And so in the blog post, they talk about, again, kind of their overall game plan of, they say, democratizing tools for creators, which I think is a little bit of a confusing word, but um, that's the word that they're using for their game plan. And you can see how their core 
core goal is to make things faster, easier, and cheaper for artists and creators. Um, and I think uh, making this tool available as a part of Unity would definitely fit under that. Now, I don't know exactly how that's going to look. I think that's going to be interesting to follow, but um, that's kind of their overall goal. And we can see how this kind of fits in. Um, and obviously they do want to compete with Epic Games and Unreal too. So um, it does make sense that they would have something like this available. But um, one of the cool things that I, th I thought was really interesting is they talk about the Emma model that does the video. And it says that they, they trained her model with over 30 terabytes of data. So basically they use the face trainer and they fed it data. And from that, it used machine learning to learn um, the ways that different faces worked. And now that model can, they said that she can do over 72,000 trained faces and also um, come up with her own entirely novel face poses. So that's super interesting. I think that's something that uh, moving forward is going to be amazing for 3D creators in general. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. Um, you can also see a video kind of showing you how those uh, those 3D animals work as well. So again, if you look at this and just look at the way that the muscles move under the skin, you can see that this is really something that's been designed to emulate real life in a detailed way. And so one interesting thing that they bring up in here is they do say that by acquiring Ziva, not only can they allow artists to use the Ziva tools, but it's something that they can also use to accelerate the process of bringing the weighted digital tools um, to 3D as well. So um, this is a really interesting development as well. I'm not sure exactly how those are going to fit together, but I kind of like the idea of taking those two tools and kind of like building them into something even bigger. So that's kind of it for right now. We're going to have to see how this develops. I think it's a super exciting development, but I'm interested to see how this fits in the ecosystem. If it becomes made available, kind of like MetaHumans did as kind of a free tool, or if there's going to be an additional cost to it. Um, so I, I don't really know what the long-term game plan is. It does, it does seem like just looking at some of the other services that we've seen, there might be an additional cost to this, but we don't really know for right now. So we'll just have to keep an eye out and see what develops moving forward. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this development. If you think it's a good move, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.